Alrighty. Oh crap, wait, this means that... I guess he like he is out there, but uh, it does is he? Oh man, okay. Anyway, so um So we're starting off, Reed is uh Maintaining thinking like, you know, uh, a bit of a lead here. Ooh, the stitch face though. Fortunately that goes to waste really quickly. Alright. And Reed's maintaining his uh positional advantage right now. And did skip the uh, first stock close out. Only 87 on him. Really not bad against like, you know, uh someone like Daisy who's not gonna get like he doesn't really have any early kill buttons. She has to like hope to get like a gift to really like, you know, close this out fast. Excellent parries coming from Reed too. Excellent and like with punishing. Just good sequences all around. Good with, with like, you know, uh B and B's. Not going for anything like super long or complex, just kind of uh, like, you know, getting these uh quick hit three piece combos and then like, you know, closing out, getting, getting back to a neutral. And the percents have overlapped. Oh my god, he's teabagging. This man, I know this man like, could be, be like super disrespectful at times. Yeah, he has no jump. So that blank will close out that first stock finally, but now without 124% and counting to uh, have to deal with. He has to make a huge adaptation if he wants to like bring this back, this, uh, back in his favor. And Reed doesn't seem to be looking to allow that right now. The percentage is only getting worse. Reed can pretty much just breathe on Reed blank at this point, as he just did with Pyrrha, and like could close out that stock. Was uh, maintaining a bit of a uh, good it stock to like hope to like uh, bring this closer. Yeah, good call on the float, and Reed is just mixing uh, blank up with these uh, blazing ends. Blazing edge? I don't know. Once again, Reed just bringing uh, Blank closer and closer to uh, breathing ter and uh, dying territory, as we just saw there. <laughs> Excellent uh, first game coming from uh, Reed. Definitely playing like you know, super uh, composed, super uh, like you know, aware. You know, this is a top eight with a lot of newer faces, I will say. Maybe, like, I'm thinking about it right now. I, I think Noki's the only, like, you know, Westchester PR still in bracket right now. It's just worth, it's like, thinking about it, I guess. Anyways, game two. Oh wait, Blank brought out their own uh, Mithra. Okay, let's see what uh, they got. And oh my God, 
starting out immediately. The blank's kind of like trying to say, okay, you think that you think you got a nice Aegis? Watch. Yo gets that footstool immediately. What a start for this game too. So far, playing a very convincing Aegis. This is clearly not just something like, you know, he uh, whipped out on a whim. He, he has been, like, you know, practicing this character. So far, Blank's still maintaining his uh, stock lead, although Reed definitely seemingly keen on a. Uh, Closing it out for himself, and not quite yet. That blazing edge almost closed it, but finally, the F smash will do it. It like you know, just throw that out there with the throw. Why not? It's not very laggy. But not with only four percent now on a read stock. Blank definitely like you know in a good position. Has to be mindful though. It'll only take like a read a few combos to we'll bring this right back and oh my god, what a uh, unexpected punish on the uh, switch. I think he knew that like Reed wanted to uh, switch to Pyramid and leave the fish for a uh, down air. Oh, and Reed's dead. Yep. Reed, a little too uh, quick on the draw with the uh, Blazing Edge. Will uh, end up SD, unfortunately. Ooh, oh my god, and that almost that did it almost didn't matter the ST. Bro, excellent uh pack egg on the uh downer, but it didn't matter. Good uh, chase with the uh, dash pack to uh, close out the stock and keep it relatively even. Reed is not that, that far behind him. He's in fact he, he's about to uh, take the lead if like he can just get another meaningful hit, although blank, of course. It is, this is pure neutral right now. Nobody's got like you know a clear like you know advantage. Very patient play coming from uh, Blank, waiting for the roll in and then punishing accordingly. Oof! Reed does get a foresight punish, but uh, there's not much you can do against like Mithra Detail in, in, in that situation. And now they both agreed to like you know sell this like uh, the only way they know how to with the uh, Pyrrha. We'll see. They're both now in a bit uh, more fitting position to uh, kill each other. Oh my god. Ooh, an ill-advised roll coming from uh, Blank, though. And now Reed is taking the stock of the uh, percent lead. Reed, rather. Oh, but gets out neutral uh -oh, by uh, Mithra. And he, Blank will put himself on the board. Well... The question is, is we going to agree still to the Aegis Ditto, or is he going to bring out the Mario? I think he's just going to play out this Ditto. He seemed to, like, you know, definitely still be holding his own. Uh -oh, like, it, it, that was, like, anyone's game. It's just that at the end, I think he got a little too stubborn with his uh, Para, and ended up getting, like, it, like pretty much just out character. Wait. What? What? Wait. What? what? Blank, sir, what are you doing? Why did you switch back to Daisy? Okay. Um. I guess Blank just felt like, you know, he couldn't, like, you know, do what he did that game again. That, like, Reed would have been, like, you know, more ready for the Aegis, so switch to over to Daisy. It's not like, da like Blank's got a bad Daisy. Far from it. It's probably still his better character. I'm just surprised he's, like, you know, that in light of like you know the success he saw like you know in that he just did oh he didn't stick with it even still he has he's got late so far and uh, we'll see if he can uh, stay on top of it and uh, oh oh my god quickly like lose percent lead only by a little though oh we maybe I, I don't think that was real there's no way like you know he thought like you know dash time was gonna cover that I guess, you know, that did look like good DI. I'm just surprised he killed that soon. Um, okay. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh, but Blank not being able to find, like, you know, the closer. He was very close to, like, you know, to covering all of Reed's options, but unfortunately, Foresight. That could, that would have just been a confirm that killed anyone else, but the two frame uh, air dodge like that, no sir. Blank now having, oh my god, yeah, that, that's, a, and that's another stock on. Just way too, who uh, has an into like, you know, with his shield, should have either like conveyed to it, or if they like, you know, found something else, because taking that at like face first was not the move. It was a bit of a difficult situation, you know, so you can't fault too much for the decision he made. Blank, yeah, definitely like, you know, still in this though, looking to like, close this out. That pulls out this like second stock, but it's not looking hot for him. Like, so close to getting this second stock finished, but he isn't quite there yet. He hasn't found anything in. He is doing something very scary right now. He is absolutely scrapping with uh, Pura. See, the fact that he hasn't gotten hit yet is kind of a miracle. It really, it pretty much does take one straight hit at this point for like, you know, him to get with punished with like a, a down air or something. And, uh, and like, as he takes more damage in these failed interactions, it's only going to mean like more and more ways that we can like punish him for like, you know, whiffing. Excellent coverage with that uh, float go back air. So this is last stock now. It's just a matter of can Blank actually find the means to close this out? That, no, that's gonna be it, yeah. Reed will move on to uh, loser semis.